beloved, you are listening to Grace Life Comey Podcast, a platform commissioned by God to raise men into completeness in Christ Jesus. We believe that you will be blessed beyond measure as you give yourself wholly to this divinely inspired teaching. Through God's servant Pastor Chimdi Ohahuna. Grace to you, Jesus is Lord. Uh, from the Greek word for everlasting, which is uh, the Greek word for everlasting is I he knows. Taya um, a strong definition um, make us understand that everlasting life is without beginning and end, that which always has been and always will be. It's never life that is never to cease, life that is perpetual. And you get what I'm saying? Yes. Are we together? Yes. And so that's what everlasting life is, without beginning and end. See, why is everlasting life God's life? Because it is a life that has no beginning. It's called eternal life. What is eternity? Eternity has no beginning and has no end. That's just the vision of eternity. Time gives us a beginning and time gives us an end. But eternity gives us no beginning and gives us no end. That's the reason why you cannot place God with the timing of man. Why? Because it's someone you can time that you can place. God cannot be timed, so he cannot be placed. Yes. The best we can do is to follow him, not to analyze him. God is not mathematics. Don't try to solve him. Simply obey him. We cannot calculate God. It's not physics. It's not further mass. It's not engineering mass. It's not rocket science. God is God. And we cannot get his length, breadth, and height, and every of that because you cannot get the length, breadth, and height of eternity. Now, we must understand to me, eternity is the life that God lives. He owns the life. The life does not own him. Now, so if that is the life he owns, it means that God is beyond eternity. That's the best way to explain it. Because you, what you own, you are bigger than what you own. The life, the eternal life is what God owns. And if God is the one who was eternal life, that means God is bigger than eternal life. In other words, God is bigger than eternity. So what is eternity? We have the name. We have the name. Who is God? God is the owner of eternity. And if this mentality just, just a little gets into our understanding, it will change the way we reason. Tonight, we are going to pray. We are going to make some dangerous declarations. You see, what cannot happen to eternity is not permitted to happen to us. Amen. Yes, Lord. What cannot limit eternity is not permitted to limit us. Eternity is unlimited. The reason why is the word unlimited is too limited to explain the unlimited nature of eternity. Even the word unlimited is too limited to explain the unlimited nature of eternity. Eternity cannot be explained. And something that cannot be explained cannot be phantom. Something that cannot be phantom cannot be obstructed or stopped. You can only stop or resist or hinder what you understand. What you don't understand, you cannot stop it. You cannot hinder it, you cannot resist. The Bible says it's wind where to resist it. No one come at and no no one knows where to come and no one knows where to come. So are the songs of men. The the wind is not blowing. It you you can't know its movement. It says that so are the songs of God. If people are still understanding us, then we are not exuding. We are not manifesting the eternal life. If people can still limit us, we are not manifesting eternal life. When people can no longer understand us, that's when our eternal life begins to manifest. If a people can resist you when they understand you, praise God. People can obstruct and oppose you when they understand you. But when they can't understand you, how will they stop what they cannot understand? When some gangs of enemy came together against us in this vicinity, when the Lord said that which way they against them, they got confused. They could not understand what they could not understand. You cannot fight what you cannot understand. I you not them? Yes. But we need another man- dimension of the manifestation of eternal life. Lucifer said, I want to be like the Most High. I want to make my throne in the place, in the heavens, where the Most High makes his throne. Why? Because he felt that he understood the Most High. 
Are you getting what I'm saying? He felt you understood the most high. But you understand something that even what he was seeing was beyond what he was seeing was far less to who he was, he was talking about. The 24 elders, the children that slept, they bowed and said, Holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Every time they bowed and they lift up their head and they see his glory and they praise him. Why? Because for every time they lift up their head, they see a new dimension of his eternal life. That they that was higher than the one they saw before. So for Lucifer to get to a point where he says he wants to be at Moses, it meant that he stopped seeing the glory to glory dimension of eternal life. The 24 elders, the children that slept, they did not stop seeing. Lucifer stopped seeing. Pride is what makes a man stop seeing. He stops seeing. And these elders and the and said they have not stopped seeing. Because you, the, you cannot stop, you cannot put a, an end to eternity. And God possesses eternity. So how can you explain this God that owns what we cannot explain? I get what I'm saying. Yes. That's why I tell you that theology is man's way of trying to explain God. Theology, the study of God, the science of God. God is not science. You can't study him, sir. Theology. I was talking to somebody while ago. I told him, ministry has no human formula. Stop bringing ideologies for yourself. Ministry is about what God says to do. So you can't have a theological, you can't have a theological definition for, the, for, for eternity. Then how do you have a theological definition for Without beginning, without end. And God is your love eternal life. This is life. Then how can you define God? How can you explain God? Ah, she now knows. The word life is from the Greek word zoe, and it means life. You know, it means every living soul, the state of one who is possessed of vitality or is animate. It means of the absolute fullness of life. Absolute fullness, absolute fullness of life. Both essential and ethical, which belongs to God. I've been saying that eternal life belongs to God. I didn't just even get here before I said it belongs to God. Now, if this life is without beginning and without end. This life is without beginning and without end. It has no definition. Because something that has no beginning and has no end cannot be defined. It has no boundary. And it now belongs to God. The life on its own, we will use eternity to not be able to define it. Then what about the person who now owns the life? Let's know this time. Let's go Yes. <laughs> his own drama. But I shall be more good that time. He says, he says, which belongs to God, and through him both to the hypo, hypostatic logos and to Christ, in whom the logos put on human nature. All those three things he speaks about the life belongs to God, and through Christ Jesus, the life put on the human nature. So it was actually it was actually eternal life that put on a human nature. <laughs> So Christ was that eternal life that put on the human nature. But why you want the face of the earth? He limited some of the operations of that eternal life. Why? Because it was meant to be at its full potentials, full uh, productivity when he is resurrected. So when he resurrected, what happened? He came into his full productivity. So Christ Jesus is eternal life that was made flesh. That's why, see, the Bible says he came to, came to his own and his own knew him not. His own knew him not. Why? Because how can you be able to phantom eternal life? I don't blame them for not knowing him. Are you getting what I'm saying? Even when they saw the Lord that was good and of a lesser glory, they couldn't, they could not, they could not behold the glory of the Lord that was on what? On Moses. Moses had to veil his face because it was shining too much. What about eternal life? Eternal life now put on flesh. Eternal life now become humanity. They couldn't manage the glory of the Lord. How would they now manage the glory of eternal life? But you know the beauty. Let's, let's go, let's go. It means life real and genuine. A life active and vigorous, devoted to God, blessed in the portion 
even in this world of those who put their trust in Christ. But after the resurrection to be consummated by new ascension, praise God forever, among them a more perfect body and to last forever. So we're talking about a life that is vigorous, a life that is active and devoted to God. You see, without this life, you cannot be active and devoted to God. You cannot be vigorous. People have tried to be to, to, to be devoted to God. They have tried. But you cannot be devoted to God without his life. I get what I'm saying. Without him giving, without you having his life, you cannot be devoted to him. Bible says we love because he first loved us. Why? It's his love that we're actually re- releasing. Now, if he do- didn't love us, we would have not had anything called love to release. Yes. Now, so we cannot be devoted to God except we have his life. So you see people that you tell them, you see, I've, I've learned over the years in my work with the Lord. Until people have this encounter, no preaching will change their head. Until they receive this life, no preaching will preach from now to the end of the world. They don't change their head. Why? Because it takes the reception of eternal life to be devoted to God. You need his life to give him his life. Because actually, we don't have a life when we are not born again. It's when we receive his life, we now actually give that life back to him. Praise God forevermore. I see this life gets us at the resurrection to be consummated with Christ. Are you getting what I'm saying? In other words, we put on a, a perfect body, a more perfect body. That's the body that Jesus got at his resurrection. A glorified body. Are you what I'm Paul said that he said our immortality, our mortality will be done with and put on what? Immortality. Are you getting what I'm saying? That is the 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 the, 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 the second dimension of eternal life. Are we together? Yes. Amen. Amen. But there's a dimension we enjoy here now. Now, so everlasting life, that is eternal life, is life that is never to cease and perpetual, absolute fullness of life, both essential and ethical, which belongs to God. Are we together? Yes. It's absolute fullness of life. That does God. I like the word absolute fullness. Fullness is enough to explain it. I get what I'm saying. Remain connected. Teaching continues shortly. Beloved, we will like to introduce to you one of our latest book releases. Titled, Blessed Beyond Measure. Authored by Chimdi Ohahuna. The prophet Habakkuk prophesied in Habakkuk 2 verse 14 For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. This prophecy plays a pivotal role in the program of God for the earth and his children. In addition to this prophecy, Jesus said in Matthew 24 verse 14, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come. This makes us understand how indispensable the acquisition of the knowledge of God and his operations is for all who seek to be involved in the fulfillment of prophecies. Given this, God has availed simple yet profound timely knowledge via his servant Shimdi Ohahuna, to all who seek to partner with God in the fulfillment of these end-time prophecies. The book of Zechariah 1 verse 17b says this saith the Lord of hosts, my cities through prosperity shall yet be spread abroad. Also by analogy, in the book of Matthew 5 verse 14, Christ Jesus called his disciples the light of the world and a city set on a hill. This implies that children of God who are lights of the world and cities set on a hill that cannot be hid can only spread abroad through prosperity. Hence, prosperity is indispensable in the life of every born-again child of God, seeking to spread abroad, shining the light of God, as a city set on the hill, thereby, partnering with God in the fulfillment of prophecy. Blessed Beyond Measure is a must-read, for every believer who desires to know prosperity, in the complete way, as designed by God. This book helps to clear the gray areas, misconceptions, and misunderstandings on prosperity, suffered by many saints, over the years, in the body of Christ. By systematically examining, the origin of the blessing and salvation. Order a copy today via Amazon. Welcome back. But adding absolutely makes us see the, the magnitude of the fullness. All right. It's a life that is never to cease and perpetual, real and genuine, a life active and vigorous, devoted to God, blessed, a blessed life. Are we together? Yes. When we believe in 
and receive Jesus as Lord and Savior, we receive eternal life. This is why it is no more a promise of the Father as it has been fulfilled by the Father in and through the death, death and resurrection of Jesus. So eternal life is no longer a promise of the Father. The Father fulfilled it in and through the birth, the death, and the resurrection of Jesus. John 3 16, for God loved the world and he gave his glory to the only son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have what? Everlasting life. The moment we get receive Jesus, we receive everlasting life. Are we together? Yes. That's one thing we need to understand. And we have been talking about this eternal life, and we have been seeing the nature of this life. We have tried to explain this life. Now, this is the life we God at the earth. It is God's own life that we have. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. God's own life. You see, this is what makes some people get radical when they get born again. You say they, they are zeal so much. No, it's not actually in what zeal that is so much. It's actually the life that is surging out. Mm. Remind me the story of Dr. Omar Pai. When he just recently got born again, I said, God born again. He went to meet an uncle in his compound who used to be a notorious wizard. And when he kills anybody in the compound, he calls him and says, See that one that dies, me that killed that one. And he met the uncle and said, Uncle, if you taught anybody in this compound again, you die seven times the first day. And the guy said, Uma, 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 small boy, like me, I know your mother is your mother, I'm pretty far. I'll just, I'll just mm, sniff you like that. Uma said, Uncle, I told you, try anybody again, just touch you, you'll see what you're doing. You will die seven times before your death. Ah. The uncle said, Okay, no problem. Some days after, the uncle died. Ah, ah. What happened? We were praying for his death, he came back in his life. Then, before you know, they left him. Then he died. Preparing for his death, he came back to life again. He had, it happened three times. And then they said, okay, What is the matter? Come and tell us what is actually happening. We don't understand this matter. He said that after Uma did what he did, he went to Uma's house. And as he flew and stood on the roof of Uma's house, fire engulfed him. And as fire engulfed him, he actually died though and went to somewhere. He said, But the place where he went to, Anytime they reach them, they, uh, you go back and see judging your matter. So he actually died seven times before his word, final death. That thing is not sin, that is the life of God. Yes. It just makes you begin to behave godly. 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 And you are not sat about her. It makes you begin to make br- brutal declarations. Make no It makes you begin to take dangerous steps. Steps that only God can take. God likes steps. And me both sit and shut up. So that's why we're going to make declarations. We're going to make declarations. We're going to make declarations. Brutal declarations. We're going to release eternal life. We're going to make the devil know his place. Because this life is what makes God behave the way he behaves. When Lucifer misbehaved in heaven, God did not move his smallest throne. He didn't move from the throne. Why? Because eternal life does not waste time of frivolities. Lucifer has frivolities. He didn't move. My kid, this is a matter for you. This is not a matter for eternal life. I'm carrying eternal life. No, 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 I can't be wasting my time. There are more important things. There are more important businesses to deal with. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. It's not enough to know and receive eternal life. We must partake of it. We must partake of it. We must partake of this life. And that's why I'm going to be, you know, investing time in the place of making declarations. Now these declarations were making them with the revelation of eternal life. See, I am Tosha, we have prayed though, we have prayed, but now we want to use eternal life in us to pass the grace. To pass the grace. It, that thing Umar Pai did, there's no way in the scripture that they said that seven times before they died. You know what I'm saying? There's no way in the scripture that somebody went to meet his uncle that is a witch. Are you getting what I'm saying? But you see, eternal life, eh, it creates its own precedence. Ah, yeah, Tasha. It creates its own precedence. There was no way. Um, you don't see it in scripture anywhere that he has to go and tell his uncle that seven times. He didn't hear the testimony for anybody. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, you see, I like testimony. You talk about testimonies. But when eternal life is at work, you don't you may not need to hear anybody's testimonies yeah. to create your precedence. <laughs> uh, when eternal life is at work, you begin to take some dangerous, daring steps. I'm sure Bessie, that also has the blessed memory. One day was in church and his pastor preached to them that Jesus raised the dead. 
He said, okay, where to be the pastor? He said, Pastor, so you need Jesus here. Then he says, in the Bible, he says, Jesus is in the Bible. And he said, okay, Pastor, have you raised him? He said, Jesus, he said, Jesus said, he said, Jesus said, he said Jesus said he, with the things he does, we can do the same thing. He said, we can do the same thing. He said, okay, Pastor, have you raised him? Pastor said, no. He said, so you mean Jesus said that? Jesus said that the things he did, we can also do the same. He said, yes. The pastor said, yes, we can. He said, okay, thank you, Pastor. He took his bicycle and started riding around the whole town looking for a dead person to raise. See, that is not normal. It's eternal life at work. Yes. It's, not, it's not normal. It's eternal life at work. Looking for a dead person to raise. And as God we have it, from morning to I think towards late evening or towards evening or whatever, the Lord said, this eternal life that is shocking you, I will make it work. And we give it work to do. And he finally saw a compound where they were crying. A small girl was that that da- he said, Hallelujah. Praise God forevermore. Thank you, Jesus. Where the girl he brought the girl and he prayed for her, the girl jacked back to that. I'm talking about he was just in a church member. Eternal life. He creates precedence. He looks for opportunities to show the power of God. <laughs> Eternal life is the power of God shocking you, shocking you, shocking you, shocking you, shocking you. Ekilato satatata, ekeleteshe, matata basha, elebo tatamata. So the Lord to know that we have it, we must partake of it. We must partake of it. For us to partake of the promise of life in Christ Jesus, we must understand that every promise made by God gets three parties involved. Every party involved plays a part in the physical manifestation of the promise. You must understand this. Every promise made by God, there are three parties involved. And every party has a vital role to play in the manifestation of the promise. Number one party, God can number one party is God. And God cannot be stopped from giving his promise and fulfilling it because that is his part to play. Isaiah 55 verse 11 says, So shall my word be that went forth out of my mouth. He shall not return to me void, but he shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing which I sent it. You cannot stop God from giving his promise and fulfilling it. He has already fulfilled that. You know what I'm saying? So is every word that walked my mouth. It must prosper what I sent it to do. And yes, Allah. And I you cannot stop him. You cannot stop him. You can't stop him. You can't stop him. You can't stop, you can't stop it. It has already been. It's a system that has been put in place already. It has been running. The, the program has been running. You can't stop it. Number two, the devil. The devil cannot be stopped from initiating a fight against the manifestation of God's promises because that's also his part of it. You can't stop him from initiating the fight. You can't stop him from initiating the fight against the manifestation of God's promise. It's his part to play. You, he said, the devil should never fight me. You are not ready. You are not in this business. Huh? The proof that the business is that the devil will initiate fights. Then I tell us that he says, but the, prince, but the prince of the kingdom of Persia will stood me one and twenty days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I remained there with the king of Persia. Then I prayed. From the first day, that I prayed, God gave answer. But the prince of Persia came to stand. It's, the devil has to play his part. You see, if he doesn't play his part, this, this, this whole transaction is not complete. It's not complete. It's not complete. How will you know that you have you have the eternal life of God if the devil is not playing his part? If you don't play his part, then there's no proof, there's nothing to show. See, power is known when there is a challenge. Are you gonna say when there is a challenge? When there is a challenge, when there is a challenge, when there is a challenge, power is known. Power is known. Ah. <laughs> and then finally we the new creation likewise we should not be stopped from resting in God because this is our part to play to partake of the promise of life in Christ Jesus if God since God cannot be stopped and you cannot stop the devil from existing then nobody should stop us from resting in God Amen Hebrews 4 verse 12 for he that had entered into his rest and see, has ceased from, has also ceased from his own work, even as, as God did from his. So nobody should stop us from resting in God. See, we will make brutal declarations and we're going to rest. I get what I'm saying? Yes. We make, we, in time, we make the brutal declarations. We make decrees. We will just decrease our. Ah, in my, oh, I, remember, I just remember the day of 
and somebody who wants just you know the particular uh, course you wrote and they say she had been they've been feeling her in that course and I say okay what do you want she called me I said what do you want she said she wants the, 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 the mark to change from this mark to that mark I said okay if that's what you want I think they gave her 46 and I said she wants it to change from 46 to 64 46 was an F I said I want it to change from 46 to 64 which is what a C I said that's what you want that's fine that's what you get and I played and that's all after I finished playing, some days later, the day for tell me, call her to find out. When I play, I don't even call to find out. When I play on the matter, I don't call the pay to find out. I wait for a to call me to give me testimony. That's how I play my play. And you don't find out, she called there and told me that how it happened. That's how it happened. That, my younger son, the blessed memory. He told her that if she doesn't sleep, if, if she doesn't sleep it, with him, he will fail like the course. He fail like the course. I said, okay, come, we'll, let, let, let's have, don't worry, let's have a meeting. I called and we had a meeting. I just came to the house that night. We just prayed into the night. We just prayed and I made some declarations. Just made some declarations. And after the declarations, that caused the lecturer said she was going to fail. She got a me in the concert. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? We know what we're talking. A young lady who they want to forcefully get her married. She told me, sir, they're getting me married tomorrow. That they're getting me married tomorrow. I mean tomorrow, sir. I told her from before that she said, it will not hold. She said, sir, that the happy is tomorrow. I said, it will not hold. I said, I, said, I send a blast to the man. Two days after, she called me, said that yeah, she said it happened. I said, Daddy, Daddy, your God is like, your God is like saying. He said, the man said, somebody came to Trent telling him his dream. Don't you ever marry that girl. And he came in there, they begging them, please, I don't want to marry. I said, it's me that came to him. Sir, we want to invoke eternal life back again. Yes. We want to torture some devils here. Yeah. We want to deal with some demons. And we'll do it with both eyes here. Yeah, eye. We'll pass the crease, we'll go and rest. We have seen God do it before, we'll do it, we'll see God do it again. Yeah. Now it's time we want to start showing off eternal life. Since it looks like we have been petting some devils, now we want to show off eternal life like never before. Yes. Amen. Amen. How do you rest in God? We rest in God by putting his faith in us on his word and living the same way. See, tonight, tonight, as soon as Tata Kata, tonight, tonight, everything that has made the eternal life of God in us look like he's not there. Tonight, we will lay them to rest. Amen. Adiro Koto Pasiata. They say we have been praying, we have been praying, we have not seen your result. Mm. Tonight, they will see our results. Amen. Our result will silence their insults. Amen. Tonight, yes, eternal life will throw its weights. Amen. Usually, we thank God for a few minutes into before we get to the to, um, 12 bit life. We're going to pray tonight. And maybe in a few minutes, one minute, we'll just stand up. But we are praying more. Because if we have to deal with something, they have to end the 2022. Yes. They will not follow us to 2023. Amen. You under the sound of my voice, you don't make Jesus your own personal savior. That's the right decision to make now. The prayer is going to be made for you. Just make that prayer and we trust God that you have accepted in the family of God. Now, rise up on your feet wherever you are. We are making declaration and say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I lay demand. I lay demand on eternal life. On eternal life. Everlasting life. Everlasting the life. The life of God in me. The life of God in me. To manifest. To manifest. In every ramification. In every ramification. In every area. In every area. In every realm. In every realm. In every department. In every department. Of my life. No. no! In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Let's you take the the out there you've not made jesus your lord and personal savior um i would want to invite you to make this decision is the best decision you can make in your life and i encourage you to do it now if you want to make this decision please say this prayer after me dear lord jesus i come to you today i know that i'm a sinner i know that you died for me and on calvary's tree you shed your blood to take away my sins jesus i surrender my life to you today i make you my lord and personal savior because you chose me, 
I choose to serve and follow you all the days of my life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray for you, Lord. I pray for everyone who has made this decision. Thank you for receiving them in the beloved. And thank you for giving them the grace to serve and follow you all the days of their life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. For your love gift of any amount to Grace Life Kami Podcast, kindly use any of our giving channels available to give in dollars. You can send to Universal Merchant Bank Ghana. Account number 033-154-551-2013. Swift code M B G H G H A C to give in CDs. Universal Merchant Bank Ghana. You can send to account number 033-254-551-2017. To give in Naira, you can send to Ecobank Nigeria. Account number 554-102-0592. Also, for further enquiries, you can call us on plus 233-54594-7132. OR. Send us an email via chimdiohahuna ministry at gmail.com. Today, remain ever blessed.